Preparing for liftoff, this drone is heading to a nearby hospital. It's carrying medical supplies that will save dozens of lives. This is the first time in the world that aviation authorities and particularly the Rwandan authorities have authorized drone flights, not just any ordinary flights, but flights that save lives. The unmanned aerial vehicle will be used to deliver blood and plasma to hospitals across rural western Rwanda, reaching about 7 million people. The project is run by a U.S. robotics company called Zipline. They have designed 15 drones which are powered by a nose-mounted battery and guide themselves using GPS location data. They can carry three bags of blood flying at up to 70 kilometers per hour. It is predicted each drone could make as many as 150 deliveries a day. When we're actually preparing the uh, vehicle, we'll take the package and we scan it into an iPad that is right next to the vehicle. And as soon as that happens, the vehicle has all the data it needs. The whole route is loaded into the vehicle. So it says, oh, I'm going to this specific hospital delivering this specific product. The maternal mortality rate is high in Africa. According to the World Health Organization, this is largely due to post-mortem hemorrhage caused by a lack of access to simple blood transfusions. The use of this technology will help to cut waiting times for supplies delivered by road from hours to just minutes. So this is a really urgent product. I mean, 80% is going toward people who, moms and kids whose lives are on the line. And the challenge with blood is that it doesn't last very long and there are lots of different types of it. So it's really hard to know what to send where beforehand. Uh, and obviously you only have so much, it's a very precious commodity. So you can't just stock a lot of it at every single health center. Zipline will be paid by Rwanda's health department on a per delivery basis. The company says the cost per trip is roughly equal to that of the current delivery method by motorbike or ambulance. For the Rwandan government, blood delivery by drone will not be cheaper, but it promises to be much faster in saving lives.